Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. So in this video, we are just going to look at the unit circle. A unit circle, put simply, is a circle with a center of 0, 0 on my coordinate graph, on my x and y axes, and it is a circle that has a radius of one unit. So I'm just going to mark in the radius from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, and it has a radius of one unit. So that's basically what the unit circle is in a nutshell. We're going to examine a little bit more on that. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop a line here now from my radius line down to my x-axis and I'm going to create it at a right angle where it hits the x-axis. Now that coordinate that we've uh, plotted here now on the unit circle, we want to examine that for a second. So imagine, for instance, I was going out a distance on my x-axis as, say, a distance of four. So I've come out a distance of four units, and I went up on my y-axis a distance of maybe uh, three units. That coordinate that I've just plotted there now would be four, three. Quite simply put, we have many different uh, points that we could plot for that green, that green coordinate. There's infinite amount of points that that could be. So what we're going to look at it now in terms of x and y. So I'm basically going to come out on my x-axis a distance of x units out to that point here. And I'm going to go up a distance of y units. And I'm just going to mark it here on my y-axis. So I've gone out to x and I've gone up to y. So that coordinate is now going to be labeled as x, y. So I've gone out a distance of x and I've gone up a distance of y. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. We're now going to just mark in my angle here that I've created, and I'm going to call it the angle theta, the symbol for an angle within our mathematics. Okay, so that's basically our unit circle, and we've created this 90 degree triangle within it. So we're just going to push that a little bit more now and see what else we can do. So all I want to do is basically examine this point, the coordinate x, y. Now, like you know, I've drawn a tri right angle triangle there, so we can use our trigonometric ratios to examine the angle theta. So I'm just going to look at some of my ratios here. So I'm going to look at sine first of all, so sine angle, which is opposite over hypotenuse. And using my triangle within the unit circle, you can see that the hypotenuse is one. So I'm just going to mark it here in light blue. Opposite the angle is my opposite length and my adjacent is the x. So I'm just going to fill them into my um, sine ratio. So we fill them in. So I have sine theta is equal to opposite, which is uh, my y. It's the distance that I've gone up on my y-axis, and it's over the hypotenuse, which is 1. And we know that y divided by 1 must just give me y. So sine theta is equal to y. And I'm going to do it out now for my cos ratio. Which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And looking at my unit circle once again, I'm getting cos a, which is cos theta, is equal to adjacent, which is x over my hypotenuse, which is 1. And once again, x divided by 1 must give me x. So what that's telling me is that x is equal to cos theta. So let's just have a look at that for a second. So what does that basically tell us? So our coordinate that we have here on my unit circle is x, y. Now basically what we've done there is we've come up with an alternative way of writing that coordinate x, y. We can now call the coordinate x, y cos theta sine theta because we've basically used our two trigonometric ratios here to solve for x and y. And that's just going to help us solve some more advanced mathematic questions where we're given the angle in terms of radians rather in terms of degree. Now you could also notice there that uh, if you went off and did your tan ratio there, so tan of my angle is O over A, which is opposite over adjacent, you would see here correctly that tan theta is equal to opposite, which is the height of Y, over my X, which is my, uh, my baseline on my triangle. 
Now, if you just examine it, um, what have you basically done there? You're basically looking at the slope of that radius line, because remember that it's like our slope, which is rise over run. Remember a rise over run for finding the slope of a line. The rise there is the Y and the run is the X. So basically when you find the tan angle, you're basically finding the slope of the radius line. But just basically what we wanted to examine there in the unit circle was this important piece of information here. That XY, the coordinate XY, can also be written as cos theta sine theta. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.